Okay, so today we've got snatches. We've got, um, let's see here. Yeah, basically just some snatch maintenance today. Every two minutes for six minutes, two snatches, 77 to 80, 82 to 85. Today I'm gonna be testing the Metcon 9s versus, of course, the Froning Nanos. So, as much as I've been using the Froning Nanos, I've also, you know, just came right off the review of the Metcon 9, so I'm pretty used to using these shoes as well. I feel like I'm gonna snatch pretty well in both of them. Yeah, I, I already snatched in the, the Froning Nanos already. I didn't do any squats, but I did some power snatches and I thought they were fine. They re resembled the Nano 13s. And then for the Metcon, I already know I can snatch okay in these ones. Not like the greatest, but I snatched the okay in these. Uh, and then I got a little assault bike or echo bike and power snatch workout. It looks like a little burner. And that's it for today. Uh, not a whole lot of volume today, which I'm happy about. I might go on a run a little bit later because of the 3K run program, but uh, we'll see how I feel a little bit later. But yeah, let's get snatching. So I think I'm going to go pretty aggressive and go like every minute on the minute. I'm going to do one in the Fronings and then one in the Metcons. So it's just going to be constant switching. So as you know, we bench pressed yesterday, so my chest is probably going to be a little tight today. Let's see how that affects me. My legs probably a little bit shot. My lats for sure shot because of all the pull-ups I did yesterday. So hopefully I'm able to get away with some pretty decent snatches today. Surprisingly, I don't feel as bad. I did have a good lunch today, not like yesterday. Mobility doesn't feel too bad today. So another thing I'm noticing with uh, the Fronings, and this is not just limited to the, uh, the Fronings, this is a Nano 13 problem, and it's that the, the insole, the top of it, slippery. And I talked about that when I did my uh, either Nano Classic or Nano 13 review, but yeah, it's like, it's definitely noticeably <laughs> slippery and depending on what socks you wear it could be worse so like I have kind of like just like real thin liners on right now and uh, that's pretty noticeable how much it slips around or how much it lets your foot slip around let's get uh, some reps in with the Metcons right away you notice that the grip on these is just not as good that's like the first thing you notice I mean besides the fact that these are just roomier and wider than the frontings they're a lot more roomy and wide uh, but the, you know, like walking around, you can like really slide your feet around with the Metcons, but with, with the Nanos, Fronings especially, you don't notice that. But man, the width is real nice in these. Yeah, the grip is just not, I mean, that's the, like the biggest difference between the two. Like the weight, negligible. I find that the Fronings are decently comfortable for me now. They're like really broken in now. But man, the grip on these things is just not so good. I'm about to get this thing started, so we'll see how this turns out. So that's not a good start. Definitely notice that the Metcons have a softer cushioning, whereas the, the Nanos are a little bit more responsible, but not as soft. Ah, it's nice there. 
I'm wearing both of the shoes loose enough so that I can just slip into them. But these, I always loose. But the Metcons, I'm wearing a little bit looser than I normally would. Should have waited before I set it up. Okay, so it took up to like the third set for me to actually get going and like remember how to snatch. I missed two first set of 180 and I missed my very first snatch at 175, so I just started over again. The first thing that you notice is that the Metcons have a softer underfoot feel and they also have less grip. The fit is more comfortable and wide. I want to say the edge to stability goes to the Metcon, uh, but it's, it's pretty slight because the Nanos are still really solid at the heel. And then you do get a little bit of heel height boost on the Nanos. Now the things that the Nanos aren't so good at, obviously the first one is that they're a little loose. The other one is that insole is a little slippery, so it kind of feels a little weird. Get your foot situated. I'm gonna say overall today, it's gonna be a tie. I missed two snatches with the Metcons and then almost every other one felt like really good. And then I missed, I didn't miss, I just caught one and I had to chase it with the, with the Nano 13s and that's more likely user error because I think I stood up too fast. I should have just like made sure that I had it locked down and then stood up. Um, but yeah, I think either way you go, these are gonna be both really good lifting shoes. I think if you were looking for the, the absolute best lifter or the better comparison, you would just go with the normal Nano 13s than the, than the Froning. So I think those ones stack up a little bit better. Uh, but like I said in my previous videos, like anything that I would lift in the normal Nano 13s, I would still attempt to lift in the Fronings. I don't think it makes that much of a difference other than the way that the shoe fits. Uh, we do have a Metcon now, um, so it's only 15 minutes long and uh, should be a little burner. Okay, so I just finished that workout and um, I gotta say my feet stayed really comfortable. I remember like thinking somewhere after the round of nine, I was like, man, my feet still feel really good. And there was a workout that I did that the weight was 75 power snatches and it was for 32 reps only. And well, there's double unders before, but that one, I remember my feet were killing me in the Metcons, like absolutely killing me. But in this workout with the, the Nanos, but like 45, I don't know, I don't wanna do math right now, but my feet were just fine. Uh, the workout was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Like it was a little uncomfortable at the end, but otherwise it was a, it was a pretty fun workout. I thought it wasn't too bad. Uh, and I'm like happy that my feet stay comfortable in the Nanos. One thing that I will also say with the Nanos is that the grip on the pedals for the Echo Bike was also really good. Uh, yeah, but that's a little teeny tiny thing. Definitely notice it when you got it though. Um, well, otherwise, yeah, that's it for today. And uh, I'm gonna say maybe full review on the Fronings next week, early next week. I'm gonna try to get done early next week.